Hey guys, Phil Yumas here, and today we have the 2023 Ultimate Mammal Swine Guide, and I am not kidding when I tell you this is the Ultimate Mammal Swine Guide, alright? I'm going to spend a lot of time on this video going over all the items, every combo you can do on Mammal Swine to ensure that you guys will have success on Mammal Swine. If you guys watch this video all the way through, you guys watch the tips I give you, the builds I give you, and the combos I give you, and you watch the games to see me using them in, you know, real time against, uh, you know, very, very good players in tournament, I guarantee you'll get better on Mammal Swine. And Mammal Swine has been a great defender all, all this season, all last season. And I don't see it getting worse anytime soon. So if you're a defender player, you want to pick up and learn Mammal Swine, this is the video for you. If you guys appreciate me making guides like this, make sure to drop a like. If we get really good reception on this video, I'll make some more guides on other characters too. But let's hop right in. All right, let's get into items. This is my personal favorite Mammal Swine build for solo queue. It has Focus Band, the best defensive item in the game. You probably will be taking Focus Band in in every single one of your games. I don't see a reason why you would go any other item over Focus Ban. Next up, we are using the new item Rapid Fire Scarf, which makes Mammal Swine's early game super deadly. Let's you get a bunch of auto attacks off, and more auto attacks means more enhanced autos, more stuns on the enemy. And Mammal Swine is already a killer in the early game, but this just makes it so much deadlier. And then the weakness policy, giving you super high damage in a team fight. Uh, you're gonna get hit a lot. You're a defender, you're the front line, right? Every time you get hit, you get that stacking bonus up to 12% bonus damage and oftentimes when you're using your unite you're gonna have that entire 12% bonus damage going and it's gonna help you deal an insane amount of damage so I said that was my solo queue build. When you five stack, I would actually recommend maybe dropping the weakness policy for something like Buddy Barrier. In five stacks as a defender, you don't get the most amount of farm, right? And you wanna ensure that you get your Unite off. And the worst thing in the world is dying before your entire Unite goes off. And Buddy Bear really helps you do that. Also, you give a shield to an ally, which could help Mammal Swine peel for carries because it's not the best at peeling and it's it mainly just wants to go in. If you can go in with an all-rounder, pop your Unite, give Buddy Barrier to both you and the all-rounder, you guys are gonna be be a force to be reckoned with and this is my favorite build for tournament and in the games today i'm going to show you guys i will be using this build in tournament some other items that could be good on Mammal Swine is something like Muscle Band. Muscle Band, I think, is kind of outclassed by Rapid Fire Scarf, but for whatever reason, if the entire enemy team are tanks and defenders, Muscle Band probably does a little bit more damage and helps out more than Rapid Fire Scarf. But oftentimes, the enemy team is going to have squishies, and as Mammal Swine, your job is to dive the squishies. So getting an item that makes you better versus tanks is not too useful. Energy Amplifiers, next one up. Again, you can maybe possibly use it to get a bit more cooldown and some combos off and get some more juicy unites off but probably not worth it mammal swines unite does not do enough damage float stone float stone was interesting it's kind of been seeing a resurgence but you're only really gonna go this if you're invading on mammal swine just so that you can get into the enemy jungle super early score shield giving you hp is really good um and it'll help you get some medium-sized scores like the 15 to 20 scores in people's faces sometimes which could be good mammal swine uses score shield a little bit better than most because he has so much cc you can stun the enemy and then score in their face with score shield but probably still not worth it in my opinion. It can help you stack. Speaking of stacking, Aeos Cookie and Attack Weight. Attack Weight is the single highest damage item you can go on Mammal Swine. If you can fully stack an Attack Weight, Mammal Swine will do a lot more damage. But you have to warp your playstyle in a way that makes you stack early game. And I personally don't like going it because if I'm stacking early game, I'm wasting Mammal Swine's early game aggression and his power to stack instead of fight the enemy. I prefer to just fight the enemy and not have to worry about stacking. AO's Cookie is the second best defensive item outside of Focus Ban. Uh, so it's pretty good if you can get it stacked up again. And usually you run these together with Focus Ban to be super tanky and do a lot of damage. But again, you have to warp your playstyle to stack. Leftovers... One of the worst items in the game, maybe versus... No, I don't think it's good. It heals you. It takes too long to heal you. Even in the late game, it's as if you're standing on tier one goal and giving you some healing if you're out of combat. You're better off just going some of the other items. XP share Mammal Swine is actually very meta right now. It's not what I personally like to play, but a lot of pros using XP share and Mammal Swine so that you can give your team a little bit of an XP advantage. If you guys didn't know, XP share now gives free XP for the team. Let's say an Audino gives 100% XP. If you have XP share and you secure it, your teammate gets 100% XP and you get 30%, effectively giving your team 130% XP. Not my style. I like being high level and defender personally, but if you want to play really serious and get your attacker ahead, XP share is very, very good. 
Assault Vest is something I've kind of been experimenting with. I've actually used Assault Vest in tournament before on Slowbro versus Mew and Poke Comps. It's pretty decent against Poke Comps. If the enemy has a lot of special attackers and they poke you uh, on like, you know, Mew solar beams you every five seconds or so, that's around the time that it takes Assault Vest to charge back up. So maybe you can get solar beam, it breaks your shield, you walk away for a second, and you come back, you get your shield back, they solar beam you again, you're still relatively at around the same health. So consider going this if the enemy team has a lot of special attackers, but it's very, very niche and you can't really go wrong with the build I gave you. And you can definitely go wrong with this if you don't pick it in the right situation. And I cannot agree with that more than on Rocky Helmet. Rocky Helmet, maybe the like if the entire enemy team is melees and they're all all-rounders, you can maybe find some value in Rocky Helmet and if they're all attack damage characters too. But um, Rocky Helmet, very bad item, you know. I've used it in the past for like memes and videos and versus Abzul, it's pretty good because Abzul bursts you. But in any other situation, other than if the five melees on their team, you probably don't want to run this. Even then, you want to run about, think about running something else though. That should go over most of the items you can run. All the other ones that I didn't even mention, don't even think about running. There's really no point in running them. Crit is too gimmicky. Special attack literally does nothing. And I can't even think of the other items. Yeah, Drain Crown, terrible items. These are probably the best items, and I would run this if I were you guys. All right, guys, here's a look at the optimal emblems here. This is a completely new day. I've been working on this video for a few days now, and I totally forgot to put in the emblems here. But here's a look at my emblem page. I run this on most of my attack damage characters. Tanks are not, because I believe HP is the best stat in the game. So that's why we're going to overload on it. If this page is perfected and I had a gold quack side, this would give you 500 HP at the start of the game, which is astronomical. I'm going to be going brown six and white four you can swap it around maybe go white four brown six up to you i personally think brown is a little bit better than uh white six so that's why i'm running that uh but here you go there's a look at the page we're basically minusing everything just to get as much hp as possible because hp is the best combat stat being able to survive longer lets you deal more damage lets you get more abilities off lets you help out your team more uh obviously maybe not everyone has exactly this page try and get as close to it as possible and remember to always focus on HP. As you can see, I don't have a perfect page either. I'm still missing Quacksire Gold. But yeah, let's look at the emblems. All right, guys, let's learn some combos now, all right? First bread and butter combo everyone needs to know is once you have your Enhance Auto here, you want to Enhance Auto, Ice Shard, and then Enhance Auto again. And you get two Enhance Autos off in a row, locking them down for like 0.5 seconds each. So you get one full second of CC. And then chances are most people are going to be CC long enough for that third Ice Shard tick to hit. And the final hit of Ice Shard, as you guys uh, know, stuns. That final one stuns here. The first two actually don't stun. They just do damage. That's why you really need to go ahead and use your Enhance Autos to lock them down so that they go ahead and stun. Sometimes you cancel your Enhance Auto by accident like that. You don't want to do that. Your Enhance Auto has a little bit of wind-up time. So you want to make sure it fully lands before you go ahead and use your move so you don't cancel it there. All right, next combo is going to go ahead and use Tackle as well here. You can just stack up your Enhance Auto when you're far away. You don't really need to be hitting any farm. If you want to make it a little bit less obvious, you can hit some farm before you go ahead and do it. But stack up your Enhance Auto, Tackle in, Enhance Auto, Ice Shard, Enhance Auto again. Same thing, just with the Tackle in the front of it so that it helps you get close in uh, and get on top of these range characters. And right there, that's four separate forms of CC, as you can see there, all right? First, check this out. So you have your Tackle stun, right, into your Enhance Auto. Then you had your Ice Shard, and then you had your Enhanced Auto again. That's four different forms of CC. That's why Mammo is so good. It has a lot of CC. And then you can also, if you're against a melee, you can also do this combo. If you think you're going to kill him, you don't want to run away. It's just the same thing, but kind of reverse. You're going to want to go ahead and Enhance Auto, Ice Shard, Enhance Auto again, and then finish it off with a Tackle, and then you Tackle towards where they want to run from so that you can still hit them while they're running away, and you'll probably get a few more Enhanced Autos off, and that'll probably get you the kill. But that's if you're already on top of them and you're fighting a melee, and you know you're gonna win, and you don't want them to go ahead and get away. All right, last combo, which is gonna be really useful, is something you wanna do in lane, is the secure combo. With the secure combo, you go ahead and wanna set up your Ice Shard and tackle so that all your damage lands at kind of around the same time. This combo is also very good against melee characters, because if they're hitting it in close range, uh, when you throw that Ice Shard on them, either they get scared and they back off, or they stay in the range and they get stunned. And when they get stunned, you can jump in and secure the Dino here. Again, you just want to do them at the same time here. Uh, maybe I'll do it against the bot Ralts here if the bot tries to fight me for it. Oh, okay, the bot's going for this one here. What you want to do is again set up your stuff at the same time. You, you want an Icicle Shard and then to tackle. As you can see, you knock up the enemy and they get CC'd and you secure the uh, farm there. All right, guys, last thing we need to learn before we level up is using your eject button. You can obviously always use eject button 
to uh, eject on someone far away when you have your enhance auto and stun them and help your team catch up. And then another thing uh, uh, not a lot of people know about is you can use your tackle and eject button in conjunction. A lot of people you'll see they'll do this where they walk up and they eject and then tackle to reach someone far away. That's good, it's okay, but you can be a little bit more pro than that and use tackle first and then eject to finish it so that they have less time to react. Say you tackle from over here, the guy over there is like, oh, he's not gonna reach me and they're not gonna worry, right? Whereas if you eject first, you scare them, right? So if you use your tackle first and then make them think you're gonna miss and then eject, at like the last part of your tackle to finish it through, it catches a lot of people off guard and gives them no time to react. Cause you could very well have just tackled and missed, you know? And then if they eject away, they look kind of dumb now, right? Whereas if you do this, it makes it really, really hard for them to uh, anticipate it and you almost always guarantee it. Now, when you get the icicle, a combo that you're gonna do a lot in real games is just a normal icicle and then using your tackle to break it. Your tackle and your and your auto attacks break the icicle. So when you break it there, you can CC someone and engage from really far away. Go ahead and jump in, right? You push the icicle into them, blow them up. This can stun multiple people, knock up multiple people. And it sets up your enhance auto so that once you do this, you can come out and enhance auto your targets. So that's the tackle tool into icicle crash. It's also very good for securing too. Say this is really low health or something, right? You can go ahead and icicle and crash it and your damage lands at around the same time, making it really, really good to secure. Let's try that one more time. You can see all your damage kind of lands at the same time, giving you uh, more burst. All right, once you get level seven, you go ahead and get high horsepower and you unlock some even crazier combos and you can start pushing enemies into your team. And I'm gonna show you guys how we do that. First combo you wanna learn is the bread and butter, which is very, very simple. You just wanna icicle crash and then high horsepower right afterwards in the same direction. Uh, you go ahead and you push in and you break the icicle and you do a bunch of burst damage and you CC all the enemies there. Uh, how you can do it a little bit better is if they're in melee range of you, uh, some people in melee range, they still push it in towards the enemy team. You don't want to do that. If they're in melee range of you, you want to go ahead and push it on your side of the map, no matter where you are, even if your allies are not close to you, okay? If they're in melee range and they're fighting you in melee range, nothing is stopping you from doing it the other way around. You can just do it the other way around, push the enemy towards your side of the map more, farther away from their goals, and realistically, in real most games, you're going to push it uh, closer to an ally as well. You can also go ahead, if they're really far away and you want to do a really far away engage, you can go ahead and eject and do this. Eject from really far away and combo lets you engage from unpredictable angles where people don't really see you. Usually if people see the mammal swine, they know how to position away from it, right? They know how far away to stay. But if you have eject button, it's really hard to anticipate a random eject mammal coming out of nowhere engaging on them, right? Uh, so that's pretty simple stuff, but this is how the pros do it, okay? If you guys want to do some crazy combos, Make sure to, like I said, push them into your team. But you can also use that with Eject. Nothing is stopping you from going ahead and doing something like this. This is going to be a devastating combo if you can land it on a high priority target on the enemy team. What's stopping you from ejecting and then comboing this side, huh? You can eject behind someone and then push them to your team. It's really, really hard to react to. Uh, if you know they can die with just a high horsepower, right? You can go ahead and just insta eject high horsepower like this and there's not much they can do about it. And then while they're trying to retreat, you can drop the icicle and that'll make it really, really hard for them to retreat. Or you can just do it, go ahead and burst them out. Let me go ahead and get my cooldowns back. You can burst them out by ejecting and then comboing it into your team like this. If you can catch multiple enemies with that or like a squishy with that, they are in big trouble. They're stunned in your team out of position, that will definitely get some people caught out. Another thing you can do if you don't have eject button up or if you're not running eject button is when you have an enhance auto and you're fighting someone like a melee character and you wanna push them against your team, sometimes it's not so easy to get behind people, right? You try to get behind them, they'll run away. You, it's easier when they're not moving. So you wanna go ahead and stun them and while they're stunned, go ahead and walk behind them. As you can see here, the high horsepower's hitbox is actually pretty forgiving. Uh, like right here, this will probably pull them here. As you can see that, it doesn't pull them the entire way, but it pulls them a little bit. So it comes from behind you a bit. You don't need to like really get completely behind them like this. This obviously is gonna give them the full duration push, but even like right here, this might actually pull them. Yeah, like even right there when you're not even behind them, you can actually pull them a bit with a high horsepower. So keep that in mind when you're using it. Another thing you can go ahead and do with eject is a lot of the times uh, you don't actually land your stomp. You see that stomp move? It CCs them and does a good amount of damage, but a lot of times, you know, they just walk away or eject away. Uh, if you're out of range, you can just eject to ensure that the slam hits. So as you can see, I'm out of range here, obviously, right? I can go ahead and do this and then eject. And then I only hit the slam portion or you can actually do it better right there. I telegraphed it a bit. If you don't want to telegraph it at all, wait until you're about to hit and then eject. 
and then the damage actually drops on the target. Right there, that was really hard to react to right there. Because the indicator was not even on the ground where they are, right? Oh, I did it a little bit a little bit too late there. But if you do it at the perfect time, the indicator is behind you. And then they're like, whoa, what just what just stunned me? You know? Like right here. Uh there you go, like right there. You see how the indicator is behind me, but I still ended up getting the damage and the stun on the target. All right, now let's go ahead and get on to the Unites. Your full damage combo once you have your Unite is just the same as before. You wanna go ahead and Icicle, high horsepower, right? And then Enhance Auto, then use your Unite on top of that too. Here, I'll do it in full speed now, all right? Go ahead and immediately Unite right after your Enhance Auto, and that is your full damage combo on Mammal. If you land on the, on the entire enemy team, you're gonna do a lot of damage, cripple them all, and basically set up your team for success. The more people you can land that on, the better. Uh, but everyone knows that combo, right? What are some more cool pro combos that you guys probably don't think about? First one up that people probably don't think about is just going ahead and uniting and then comboing. Now this seems kind of taboo because your unite lasts one or two seconds. You can combo, right? And then use your unite and you almost have another combo back it seems like sometimes, right? But then you can't you can't dis you can't reposition and hit the enemy into your team. If you just go ahead and unite first, a lot of times people will be running away. You can use the move speed to get really deep and behind the enemies, right? So let's say this guy was running, right? Let's pretend like he's running. He's not because he's a substitute doll, right? But you can go ahead and jump in. Boom, boom, boom. You're following them. You end up getting behind your enemies. Then you use your combo to push them into your team again. Uh, this is pretty good if people are running away from you or you're chasing them down and they're on a goal. You want to push them out of the goal. If you want to push them out of the goal, you don't want to go ahead and do this and push them deeper into their territory, right? You want to go ahead and unite first. Get behind them, right? Get on top of their goal. Get a little bit behind them. Don't let them get the berries and then push them out of their tower like that. And another important thing with the eject is you can couple that with eject as well too. You always want to use your eject to land the last portion of your of your unite that last portion does the most damage and knocks up the enemies and a lot of times if you're doing a lot of damage to enemies they're going to eject to use the movement ability or their dashes to run away from you and you want to use your eject to go ahead and follow up on that right and ensure that your move lands so i'm going to run away here oh, oh i got caught up for a bit i don't know why do it again let's see I'm, I'm uniting here Oh no, they're really far away. Go ahead and eject, hit that final portion of it. I could do it a little bit better though. Here we go. To make it really hard to react to, you wanna eject at the last possible second so that you're hitting them kinda out of nowhere. So maybe you're hitting their tanks, hitting their tanks, boom, immediately hit the back line, right? So you can use eject like that too. Eject is very crucial to Mammal Swine's gameplay, man. All right, being unpredictable and catching people off guard is, is what the name of the game is. And just like the push combo before, you can go ahead and couple that with your eject as well. And this lets you get really, really far behind the enemies to go ahead and push them out to your team. Uh, if you can't get behind them for far enough with just Unite, you have that eject to couple it with it too. And then once you eject on them and knock them all up, they're kind of held in place. When they're held in place, it's really easy to push them out. So. Uh, let's try and demonstrate that like this. Here, here we go. You see how it knocks them in place? Then you go ahead and size them up, push them into your team. Right now, the Earthquake and Ice Fang, both of them are not very good. The main meta moveset that Mammal Swine goes is Icicle uh, and High Horsepower. Ice Fang is okay. It gets really countered by when the enemies go ahead and have full heal. But if they don't have full heal, you can maybe use Ice Fang to grab priority target. What it does is it's like a, a longer range enhance auto. So you see the range of your auto attack, right? It is slightly longer range. It lets you grab someone and then throw them wherever you really want to throw them. You can actually throw them... Uh, one side or the other side, you can just throw them into their team. If you throw them into their team, it stuns them. Or you can go ahead and throw them behind you into your team. And then that has its benefits too. They both have their benefits. Uh, a combo with this would be something like uh, you can go ahead and enhance auto, ice fang, throw them down, and then wait in enhance auto. It's very important that you wait there because if you attack immediately, you're stunning someone that's already stunned and you're overlapping CC, which you don't want to do. You want to go ahead and uh, wait a sec. So I'm doing this dropping them down, wait a second, and then stun them again. That provides the longest time the enemy is not allowed to move. Whereas if I instantly did it like this, as you see, I, I wasted it there, you know what I'm saying? I could have made it, got them stunned like a uh, half a second more, maybe 0.25 second more. And these little things add up, man, you know? Throughout the course of the game, all these little um, optimizations is what separates a good player from a great player. You can also go ahead and Ice Fang into Unite so that they're in your team and then you can chase them out. 
right? Or you can go ahead and Ice Fang and drop him into their team and immediately unite again too. Again, not too many combos with Ice Fang. It's really just where you want to put the enemies. You can obviously use Ice Fang to reposition farm. Uh, you can go ahead and take farm and put it in a bush so that the enemy can't see it, right? Which is which is pretty good too in lane. But it's just about moving stuff around, knowing where to put stuff. Say the enemy is trying to steal your red buff for whatever reason. They're invading. There's a save by whatever. You can go ahead and take it and push it as far away as possible. So it's really hard for them to do it. This uh, works out a lot in the bot lane. Because say this entity here, you can go ahead and throw it by your berries. And they got to really overextend if they want to go ahead and contest you on it and try and steal it. And then next up is Earthquake. Earthquake, truly one of the worst moves in the game. It used to be Mammal Swine's good move back when he had two bad moves, but it's just so bad. It takes forever to go ahead and wind up and do. It's just a worst heavy slam. The only cool thing you can go ahead and do with Earthquake is just eject it. So just like heavy slam, so it always lands like there. Uh, this will catch some people off guard, but you should almost never be going Earthquake unless they go ahead and buff it and make it uh, faster to uh, make it just faster to charge up. This charge up time takes so long, man, you know? That's why I told you guys those strats where you can use it to eat some CC, but all this time while you're like winding up, you can't attack. It's not like you can attack while you're winding up, right? Like you see, you can't attack while you're doing that. So it's just really bad. Um, but if you can hit multiple enemies with it, it's still okay. It's, you know, it's just high horsepower, I think personally is better right now. Go ahead and do this. Hit all the enemies and then go ahead and use your Unite, knock them all up. But it, dude, it's just so goofy how bad it is. It, it's too bad, but just go high horsepower, man, all right? All right, but later on, if this is meta for whatever reason, maybe they buffed it so it does a gazillion damage or the windup time is faster, just know you can go ahead and use your eject last second so that if you miss, like right here, oh, I missed. Nope, no, I didn't. You know, just like Garchomp Unite, I never miss. I also have some quick general tips written down from Mammal Swine that'll help you. All right, always use your Unite when you don't have an Enhanced Auto. So unless you're really about to die and you need to use your Unite to stay alive, if you have your Enhanced Auto, get your Enhanced Auto off before you use your Unite. You know, you stun them, make sure that they get hit by the first part of your Unite for sure. You don't want to waste your Enhanced Auto by having Enhanced Auto and then Uniting. Because by the time you're done, you know, you have another Enhanced Auto, but your abilities are probably up. No, actually you don't. Your Enhanced Auto actually runs out. So don't waste your enhance auto always use it to stun before you go ahead and use your unite another tip about mammal swine is i see a lot of people save mammal swine unite until they're really low health and then use it kind of in a panic don't worry about that just ensure the win condition for mammal swine unite is to hit as many enemies as possible and if you can do that even at full hp when you don't need the shielding or anything it's still pretty dang good uh if you use it when you're too low hp as you can see it takes about it takes about two seconds to get to your final hit, right? Sometimes in a in a heated 5v5 team fight, they will kill you before you can get your entire Unite off. And, and that's the worst. You know, nobody likes it. Also, another general rule of thumb with Unite and the Eject is generally it is worth using your Eject to hit one more person with your Unite if possible. I kind of messed it up there, right? But but what I what I intended to do here was, oh, if the Zatu would not chase me, yeah, go back, okay is uh, if you're gonna hit one person with a final part, right? And if your eject can help you hit one more person, it's usually worth in a team fight to do it, especially in Ray fight, because that does a lot of extra damage to, you know, one more person. You get, you hit one more person with Unite, your strongest move, right? And it knocks them up for one more second, almost doubling, sometimes tripling your CC time, depending on how many more people you hit. If you're only supposed to hit one person and you can eject and hit three, that goes from one second of knockup to three seconds of knockup, and it really matters. All right, another tip with the Unite that is for sure something really hard to do that's going to separate the men from the boys is using your Unite's uh, CC immunity. This can work on a lot of characters, but it's a lot easier on Mammal Swine because you get two seconds of CC immunity to go ahead and dodge or eat up the enemy CC, right? So let's see SP on here goes in and side shocks me. I can't tell if it has side shock or not. No, it goes ahead and unites me, right? But does it have side shock? It does have side shock. All right, so that right there hit me, okay? I'm gonna wait till he gets it again, and I'm gonna use my unite, as you can see here. Oh, he missed, but even if he hit me, I was not gonna get CC'd there because I went ahead and I united and I was immune to CC for that two seconds. Um, there's a lot of applications for this. Let's say you see a Gardevoir Unite on the ground. You know how Gardevoir Unite takes like a second to charge up to actually act start sucking people in? You can see that and use your Unite and make sure that you don't get affected by Gardevoir Unite and you can power through and still make it to the Gardevoir and stuff like that. Let me see if I can actually pull off one good one here against the Espeon. See right there, that would have stunned me, right? You see that? Now, this is definitely very hard to pull off in a real game, but you still see me do it sometimes. But uh, keep that in mind, you know? Think about what the enemy characters have. If they have more telegraphed uh, moves that can stun you, go ahead and think about using your Unite to go ahead and, 
you know, uh, go immune and walk through that. You can also use the same philosophy with high horsepower and tackle, because since these moves have animation times, like right there, even though I got stunned, I don't even know if I got stunned, but even if you do get stunned, moves with high animation time, like the earthquake, I'm gonna wait for it to stun me. The, right there, even though, oh, I died. Even though it stuns me, right? I waste uh, some of the stun time by using my own uh, channel time. Like Earthquake has a channel, so it doesn't matter that it stuns me because I was stunning myself anyway by channeling my move. I ran out of health there, but my, my Earthquake was gonna still go through with him. But you can just use philosophies like that. There, I did, I did it properly there, right? So even though I was stunned, my Earthquake still went through and I wasn't gonna do anything in that time anyway. So make sure to try and catch the enemy CC with some of your abilities right there. That time I did it too late. Let's see if I can do it at the proper time again. Right here, I see, even though I got stunned, I didn't waste time. I used it to channel my Earthquake. Also another tip, if you don't have your movement ability on Mammal Swine, let's go ahead and do this. Let's say you don't have your jump ability, you don't have your eject button, you wanna get over the wall. Mammal Swine Unite can actually go through walls. Not a lot of people use it to go through walls, but it has a little tiny dash in there too uh, that not many people really take advantage of. So keep that in mind. When you're trying to go for a steal or you're trying to enter a fight, but there's a bit of a wall in the way, right? Like right here, you could probably jump over this wall, right? No, I couldn't jump over this wall. I gotta be a little bit more close, like right here. Yeah, jump over that little bit of a wall, get onto the enemies there. But yeah, it's just a tiny dash. But yeah, those are all the combos and items here. And this video is going to be a little bit longer because I have two games. These two games are me playing Mammal Swine in tournament to show you guys me playing Mammal Swine in the actual game using the combos versus real five stacks in tournament, obviously, right? And doing well with it. So make sure to check those out. Drop a like if you guys enjoy these types of videos. It took me a really long time to make this video. So I really appreciate if you can drop a like on it if you guys want more videos like this. I'm thinking of making a Blastoise guide too. I was supposed to make a Blastoise guide first, but since Mammal Swine is so meta, I want to go ahead and educate the populace on how to play, yeah? Yeah, please. Yeah, I'll take everything here. Right. Holy shit, orange ping, guys. Yeah. I am actually green ping. Oh. You still want me to walk with you? Yeah. I'm gonna go score, you just... All right, let's go, let's go. I'm, I'm gonna get ready to go in on them, all right, if I see him. All right, so a -plus? Yeah, you can just go to four. You know, if they give it, obviously. Yeah, if they just give it, just take it, just take it. You got middle. Go for theirs here, maybe? Okay, uh, sure. I don't want him to stack. I don't, I don't sure, 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 sure. If you can stop him, that is. I don't know if you can. I, I stole their farm. I'm coming back, I'm coming back. We got Doom mode on, baby. Let's go, Patrick. All right, we can kill, we can kill, we can kill. Ready? Oh, you speed? I'm here. We can still kill, we can still kill. Still kill, still kill, still kill, still kill. Oh, wow, Cinder's here. What the it's fuck? Okay, it's on one, it's on one. It, Damn, it, we would have killed if jungle didn't come, bro. Yeah, that's, that's so All right, that's fine. <clears throat> Espeon got leftovers? What? We like that. All right, I'm going bottom. Yeah, that was almost do mode, Patrick. Thank you, my man. I'm five, I'm five. You don't need XP share, Chiku, all right? Let me show you how to mambo like a man. Yo, top farm here. Are they five on buzz? If they're five on buzz, you know what they're doing here. I just ripped this, ripped this. Ready? Rip this, rip this, rip this. I almost got it. That's unfortunate. All right, we can still get our fives here. You get. No, I have cancer. Start coming mid. Start coming mid. Uh, we're really weak. We're but, really uh, yo, Buzzwa has leech life though. Buzzwa has leech life. Yeah, yeah. Buzzwa has leech life. He has leech life. Keep that in mind. I, I can't. I can't even I'm, I'm, I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm burning, Sam. Hard winning, bro. Okay. Damn, we didn't get any, bro. I got one. Get this. Get this quick. Going. Nice. They're coming top. I'm here. Yeah, You're right, Sam. 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 I kill Cinder. All right. Yeah, I might be dead here though. Oh. I have another combo, Sam. If he goes in, I got you, Sam. If he goes in, I got you. Are we fighting? Yeah. I'm here, I'm here. Damn. Right here, right here. I've stunned on both. Nice, good job. I need a score, I'm really behind. There's two bots. Oh, this breaks though, man. Fuck, whatever. Oh, I, oh, I, I need to get seven, that's all. Get, get the beast from nine, I'm gonna run bottom. Alright, I'm coming bottom too. Let's go. Yo, they for do mode, Patrick. We're about to go do mode on them. No, nah, no worries, brother. They just went do mode on us. <laughs> you need this? Alright, I'm bottom here. I got you, bro. Get it, get it, it's fine. They got nine on Cinder. 
Right, yo, I, I chunked their Cinder. Their Cinder's half. Maybe it's not worth to chunk Cinder there, to be honest. Yo, Cinder's on half. Cinder's on half. Wait for Cinder Unite. Unite. Yo, we can hold it. We can hold it. You can just hold. Hold, hold, hold. They're not doing objective. That's good for us. Cinder has no Unite. Cinder has no Unite. Yeah, I'm coming back. Get a kilo nine. What six. <clears throat> I'm getting the back one. Actually, I'm taking. Okay. I'm here. We're hitting it. We're hitting it. Yep, yeah, I'm here. Leon's here. I'm getting ready to zone. I'm burst right now. I'm on him. I'm on him. Espion. Espion's dead. Espion's dead. Espion's dead. Nice. Go next one. Sorry. You guys want to dive? You guys want to dive? Yeah. Uh, I'm in. I'm in. Huge combo on everyone. Nice. Good job. They're getting low. They don't have ults. They do not have ults. One kill and I can hide. I'm stunning everyone. I'm eating both their berries. Yeah, I'm getting leech life. Kill them fast. Thank you. Score. Yo, score, score. I'm zoning, score. We can oh, man, I'm dead here. Score, 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 score. Okay. Worth. Mid yeah, I'm out. Mm. Yeah, mid farm's free. Okay, I'll hold bottom. Actually, I have a... Uh, yeah, okay. I'll hold bottom. I have no unit. I'll get it here. <clears throat> this is B's bot. She was on a date in my chat, bro. You better drop a like, you clown. I, I got the B's bot. I went over the wall. We can fight this. Yeah, I'm all team. Yeah, I got to push it. I'm, I'm scoring bottom. We score, we score here. Yeah, yeah. Yo, y'all can go back and get the thing. Go back and get the thing. I'm burning. I don't think you push it though. I don't think you push it though. You just get it off the map. Like no, we, we have we have Unite when you're We should just do it. I have Unite. You want me to, you want me to push with you? Uh, it's fine. If you need to. I have a 97. I might, I might have the solos in there here. No joke. We can only get uh sand score. Good I got two I got two bottom. I got two bottom push top, I got two bottom. I'm all I'm all Let them go, let them go. I just got SP on United bro. Okay, no SP on Unite. I held two bottom. And I got the blue. Let's go, baby! I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I'm I'm at 95. Let's go. Welcome in, homie sexual legendary name, bro. <laughs> I'm coming bottom. Yeah. No SP on Unite. No SP on Unite. I'm coming. Wait, wait, wait for me. Wait for me. Wait for me. Fight with me, guys. All right, y'all win, just win, but. Nice. Go for it. Go for it. I got you. I got you. You good. Damn, how did that stun auto not stun, bro? I'm out, I'm out, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, we're on track. Uh, defend bot. Yeah, I'll defend. We can unite like now or never. And now or never? No, just hold it, just hold it, just hold it. We don't need it. Yeah. We're just holding our lead right now. Don't give I like how she said that. Now or never, baby. I'm pressuring their blue. They have two on blue, they have two on blue. I have you nice, I can use it one time. Oh, I'm, I almost I'm went crazy, crazy on him. I'm gonna go in, Phil. Are you? Okay, I'm coming back then. Here, I'm in. Uh -huh. I, I killed, I killed Cinder, I killed Cinder. <laughs> slow bro, I stunned on slow bro here. I have combo in one second. Oh, okay, I have combo here. Right, I'm out. I have combo on everyone. Yo, I have combo on fucking everyone, bro. I just went stupid on him, as the kids say. Man, that's cringe. I just got Buzz United at three, bro. Ew! Why you Buzz Unite me, bro? I could have killed all of you my Unite, by the way. I'm just saying. Alright, I got both my pluses. Alright. That's an ill moment. Alright. I can get 13, bro. Give me 13, I'm huge, bro. I one-shot their backline while I'm on 13. I could potentially afford Nah, don't go for it, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, by 13, we win the game. Have we ever lost a game on 13? Get the red buff. Yeah, give me red, give me red. Okay. What? I need 13 here. What the hell? Nah, we have never lost when I'm 13, bro. I'm just too valuable. I can get 14. All right, let's go. It's because you guys can get one shot, so you just lose all the XP. I will never get one shot. I will always provide value. You want me to stick next to for you? It's like a fed fucking orn, bro. That shit will always do shit. Yep, I'm in the front here. 
Yo, we can just go ham. Akil, we yeah. can just run in together, bro. They walk in the pit. I'm waiting. Sam, tap it a bit. Let me come oh, go. The There's so many people in there. Yo, yo, they're in here. They're in here. I'm going crazy here, bro. Man. Don't buzz me right here. We don't get it. Nice. I zone. I zone buzz. They're, they lose. They lose. No, just I'm kill center. They lose. Rip, rip. Rip. They lose. Rip. They lose. Rip. They lose. I'll zone. Rip. They lose. They lose. They lose. They lose. Do we lose when I'm 13, bro? Does it happen? Fuck it, I'm always egoing, bro. What the hell? Homie asked if I want an ego. I'm I'm in their base right now. I'm hitting five man stuns right now, bro. Alright, Spragles, if you're watching, sorry for the unsportsmanlike conduct, okay? Alright, Aquilo did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down, I'm down. Wait, let me get another ult. Let me get another ult. Yo, this is toxic, but I love it, bro. have your range, you troll. You can just find damage. I'm in! Boom. I got slow United. Oh, that's, that sounds like a new problem, bro. I'm running out of health. It's now a me problem. <laughs> right, I'll be night soon. Dude, this Mammal Unite is so fucking dog shit, bro. <laughs> Alright, let's score. Thousand point game? We gotta send a message, bro. Nah, go for 2,000. Give me another. Yo, where are the points at? <laughs> go for motherfucking 2,000 on these motherfuckers, bro. Set a Guinness World Record highest point game in Pokemon Unite. Achieved by Team YT. Go for more, go for more. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Damn, y'all gonna make my damage look bad, by the way, because fucking y'all farming damage. That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> actually has all the damage. Let's go. You see that five man engage, bro, with a level 13 mammo? All right, that makes my high horsepower do like 1% more damage, I heard. Wait, we had a mammo? I thought we had a world of damage. Nah. Well, it's the yeah. disrespect. Oh, enough mammo things for me to notice it was a mammo. Check the damage charts, bro. Let me show you some fucking mammo things, bro. Check the damage charge. That's mammo things right there, bro. No attack weight, no nothing. Defender. 5k less than fleet. All right. And this guy was farming like 10,000 true damage hits in their base, bro. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, in my days back then, I played mammo solo top, by the way, bro. In a long, long time ago. True story. I played mammo top versus fucking all the top lane you guys know. OG, Lutano, everyone. I played mammo top versus, bro. Check it out. We might have some new viewers here. Let me flex some of my win rates for the new viewers. New viewers, look at these beautiful win rates. Mr. Mime, I used to have 90%, but then my team started trolling me. All right, Slow Bro, 80%. Garchomp, 73%. Blastoise, 80%. All right, Mammo, 80%. Zerora, uh, 76%. This was Zerora top, by the way. All these games were Zerora top back then. Uh, Mammo, we're half defender, half top. Uh, Hoopa, 81. Ooh, look at my tree. Ooh, wait till I bust out a tree, bro. Wait till I bust out a tree. Why is Kaizy calling everyone dreamy but me? What's going on? Oh, my sword is crazy too. Oh, look at this beautiful Machamp win rate. All defender submission Machamp, by the way. All right, there you go. There's a little bit of flexing going on. <laughs> All right, make sure to give me two farm here, though. It's important. All right, so I'll get first one. You get second one, and then we get one of the third each. All right, you get second one. And now I'll give you one of the third, because I'll eight, double it. No, I'm giving you both of them. I was scared to take the farm. Yeah, I don't know how to make sure I don't last it. I feel you do. Better not get yelled at like Jarek. <laughs> right, right, right. He pressed, he pressed, he pressed. Wait, he's dead here, actually. They're not gonna let us back. Let's get played there. 920 for the middle one this one. Okay, okay. Uh, Yo, just kill. Yeah, yeah, burn his thing. Nice, nice. Alright, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. I'll secure, I'll secure, I'll secure. I'm just gonna be pressed. No, I actually do not have secure. It's, it's random. I still got it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mime no focus. Mime no focus. A press. Mime no focus. Nice. Go for this. Go for this. Yeah, jungle's here. Leave, 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 leave. All right, we learned. We learned. We learned. I can be pressed. Yep, yep. Go for it. I'll, I'll, I shard when you're ready. Right now, I'm sharding. I'm sharding. Sounds like I'm fucking. Sh I'm, I'm sharding. I'm sharding. Let's get. All right. I'm gonna save my rock snatch stance. So if we can get ready for middle. Get ready for middle. I'm going in, I'm going in, I'm going in hard. I got five. 
I'm good. I'm good. I swear I'm going crazy on him here, bro. Dude, they lucky they CC me. I was gonna tackle that. This one's hard. Right. Let's do this. We're sharding, guys. This one spawns next. Now they're doomed here, bro. They're actually doomed here. They go for it. No, they're so doomed here. He can't. He can't go in. He can't go. B press. Just B press. Just B press. I got it. Yeah, I can just stun him the second he comes in. Yo, 10 for mid. Okay, I'll be there. I'll be there for sure. I'm, I'm mid, I'm mid, I'm mid. You just want to keep an eye on both of them? Just keep uh, an eye on both of them. Yeah, send there, send there, send there. Oh, yeah. I'm sending there. No full wheel. Send there, no full wheel. Send there, no full wheel. I'm on there. No full wheel, no full wheel. Can you CC? Oh, fuck. No, uh, I'm coming too. I'm coming too. I'm fine. I'm, I'm I think fine. you can eject in and full kill him after you have no full heal there, bro. I 100% die though. No, no, you don't know. After you kill him, we can just stay alive. I just enhance auto stun people for you. They're so weak, bro. They're little four buzzwall and shit. I stun, I stun, I stun, I stun. Kill, 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 kill. Kill, 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 kill. Bro, look, if we can survive that long with one HP, imagine how much we can survive with full HP, right? I can hold top myself. We don't need them to resist Give me that shit, baby. Yeah, I got bot under control. Then it's bot also. There's three bot. Alright, three bot. I have A Val now. Alright. Just stall a little. I'm coming down. I'm rip. really close to them. Alright. No, they're not. They're not. Wait, wait. They're, they're not. Yeah, yeah. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Dude. I'm coming bot. I'm coming bot. Yeah. yeah. We just got shit. We don't need to walk up and take poke. I'm here. I'm nine. They're, they're if they're not hitting it, they're not hitting it. We're in the office. I walk up when Fui comes down. I walk up when Fui comes down. I got buzz. 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 Buzz right here. Buzz on one. Nice. Good job. Just hit it, just hit it, just hit it. I'll zone, just hit it, just hit it, just hit it. Don't let it reset, don't let it reset. Uh, mime here, mime's dead. We can die. Yeah, yes we can. Dude, after like one kill, I get thing. Yo, yeah, huge combo, huge combo here. Oh, I got nine, baby. Hmm. Go top. I'm huge. I, I go, can someone defend bot? Uh, I have nine. Yo, Keel, you defend maybe. You defend, get farm bot. I have nine, I, I want to use it here. When it comes, uh, yep, uh, it's up, it's I, up. I want this. Let me get this, let me get this. I'm up here. No pressure, but... Coming top. I'm getting I'm bounced, bounced around. Yo, give me Unite, give me Unite, give me Unite, give me Unite, give me Unite. Alright, we're just killing them, bro. Dude, we are fucking styling on him here, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Score, 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 score. I like that. I called for Unite and Cookie was like, yes, sir, and gave me the Unite. Jared would have been giving me lip about it, bro. You would have said, nah, 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 nah. You would have died. You would have been like, nah, I got to save this for Sam, man. <laughs> Fucking Sam is like in his jungle farming blue, bro. Sam's vacationing on 90. He does not need pussy. <laughs> like, that's what we like to see. Okay. Yo, we should do something with this Lucky, by the way. You want to push bottom here? Yeah, I'm here bottom. They don't have jump guys, you just walk up. That was absolutely fucking nasty, bro. That shit was so nasty, bro. Mime, bro. Mime cannot walk in, dude. Yeah, jump in <laughs> Jump on this. All right, I'm I'm a I'm a level over a kilo. I'm on track. Let's go. Are you good? That's how, I'm that's how I'm tell we're doing good in the yeah. game. Hmm. It's fine. Maybe I'll just work. What the hell? Why y'all? What, what the hell y'all talking about in chat? Whoa! I'm gonna rip it. All right, I'll zone. Just rip it. I'll zone. I'm not letting B in. I, I will not let him in. Look at him. He, he stepped to the side as if. Oh, he, he got in. I let him in. I let him in. He ejected. <laughs> Dude, he stepped back and then I didn't do anything and it got him, bro. We troll free sometimes. Just set up. Now we can't do anything. I mean, I mean. Oh, Cinder or United? Cinder United. Yeah. I have Unite. We can Unite here, bro. Yeah, yeah we can kill him. Okay. All right, fuck it. Just kill him. Okay. I'm gonna score. I'm gonna score. Uh, oh, I, I didn't have cooldowns. I push him out. Oh my god, that A9 note was juicy, Aquilo. Yes. Oh, that man. shit was juice, bro. I don't know, Unite too. Fuck. 
fuck like like apple juice. I like apple juice by the way. Like apple they, they juice. Use the water unites for that fight. Too. Apple juice is something you like as you grow older. I think you do. I liked that as a kid too. Oh, okay. It was like the one thing from school I liked. The other thing was like goop and this, shit. You know, you know schools. I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm gonna. Okay. Gonna right, we, don't need, we, we don't need. We we don't need to give XP here. You can unite just me, die. bro. I don't care. Die. Just keep poking them. Yeah, Slowbro's looking to unite someone. It might be you, Fui. It might be you. Alright. It might be me now. Uh, he does eat farms. He for sure gets a bag of farms. Damn, Sam is. Yo, we are sleeping on Sam in the back, bro. This dude's a quiet. Motherfucking quiet assassin here. I'm like, why are people going down? I didn't even hit my ability this time. Uh, oh man. Yeah, take that blue. B press, B press. He did not notice you. <laughs> nice. Alright, I'm getting 13 mid here. Alright, let's go bot. Go bot. That's, that's the combo between me and Sam. I cause so much havoc in the front that they forget he's in the back, bro. Oh, I gotta do this fast. No! Let's go bot. No! Alright, let's go bot. Get it, take position. If this is the steal, I think we just win the game. Hmm. Yeah, okay. L Riz? Who got L Riz? I only have W Riz. Damn. Uh, Phil, you can just go in. Take position. Yeah, take position. I'll go hard, bro. I'll go so hard. Uh, I'll call if I need it. It's fine. Let him score. Let him score. It's not big deal. It might be good. I can give you a good drag, Cookie. Okay. Alright, I think they know not to come in through this bush again, though. They're coming from top. Coming from top. Yeah, I'm walking, I'm walking. Sam, Sam, watch out. Oh, they're in there. They're in there. They're in there? Okay. Oh, they're over here. I see him, I see him. I can engage right here already. Dude, I just full kill their Sim there, bro. Nice. I'm on Venusaur. Yo, Venusaur just fucking inted, bro. Okay. Alright. Alright, that's game. I'm gonna anticipate the surrender guys. That's see y'all. Hey, don't have Don't have abilities. I'm still secure it though. Alright, I'm gonna go through i squad middle. Oh, they might be able to break my shit. No, I was nice. anticipating the surrender! Anticip- you gotta ant- <laughs> I gotta anticipate the anticipation, bro. They anticipated it, actually. No, you gotta anticipate their anticipation of your anticipation. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I should've did that shit when there was three down, bro. I just leave the fight. He <laughs> really run and score. Mm. Oh, man. Not bad, not bad. No I gamers. This game is a little bit more accurate of my damage. That game, that's a little bit more accurate. Without y'all base farming, all right? Look at that damage. Akilo, you see why I get 13 now, bro? We win games if I get 13, bro. You're right, you're right. Undisputed. I'm not even joking. It's actually slept on to give defenders 13, bro.